Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. So today I'm doing an Invisible Cities project video. So uh, basically, as you will have seen with the title of this video probably, uh, Invisible Cities is continuing, is coming back in 2022. With the December announcement, we have a break month or a catch-up month. It depends on what you use the month for. But basically, we have not selected any specific countries for December to give you a little bit of a break or a chance to catch up with uh, countries you haven't got into or get to more books from countries that you've been interested in exploring further. Today I'm announcing the two countries we have selected to kick off 2022 for January. So we have Singapore and Algeria. I am really excited that we will we'll be continuing with this project next year. I hope that you are as well. I will, uh, as usual, give a, a little bit of uh, information about the project in the description if you're new to Invisible Cities. But the purpose behind it is cultural immersion and exploration um, and as I said particularly with a lean towards translated literature. As usual with these announcement videos I will share options that I have for the two countries we've selected. For Algeria one of my options is uh, the Myth of S Sisyphus by Albert Camus. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has Albert Camus as an option for Algeria. Uh, he was born in Algeria and this has been translated from the French uh, by Justin O'Brien. This is an essay collection. The Myth of Sisyphus is the essay that I was really interested in reading from this. It presents a meditation on suicide, the question of living or not living in a universe devoid of order or meaning. Another book that I'm really in interested in checking out from Algeria is our Riches by Kautu, Kauter Adimi, and this has been translated uh, by Chris Andrews. It's a book about books and about bookstores and libraries and, and all kinds of things, and it just sounds like the kind of thing that would be really, um, really fun to read. Then for Singapore, I have two, again, um, uh, things that I'm looking at potentially reading. I'm actually realizing that both for both countries I've selected a nonfiction book and a fiction book. Um, so the nonfiction that I have my eye on for for Singapore is Homeless, the untold story of a mother's struggle in crazy rich Singapore by Liana Damira. And this says it's a memoir uh, like the t uh, the title suggests, is a memoir of homelessness um, and, and the struggle of, of the writer who was pregnant uh, during this time. I first came across this one, I think, through Nat from Natty Nook. Uh, by the way, she's a fantastic source for Singapore uh, or Singlet um, recommendations. I will link her uh, booktube channel in the description below. Um, I, I feel like she talked about this one a long time ago and I'd already had it on my radar from then and then I've seen it several times on, on Bookstagram as well. So this is one I'm really interested in reading. The other one that also sounded really good and that I actually think I discovered through Bookstagram as well is The Gatekeeper by Nuralia Norasid. And this one is, uh, is a fantasy book. So it says... Uh, Norasid's debut novel, The Gatekeeper, tells the story of a 10-year-old Gorgon girl named Ria who petrifies an entire village of innocents with her gaze. So it's ba basically a Medusa-type uh, retelling thing. Uh, together with her sister, she flees the jungle of Manticura to the underground city of Nalrut, where the society's marginalized members live. Years later, the subterranean habitat is th threatened when Rhea, now the gatekeeper, befriends a man from the outside. Uh, just the, the Medusa aspect of this book actually sounded really appealing to me. Um, and sort of the fantasy element. And one thing I mentioned definitely with Invisible Cities before is that I'm always trying to, to uh, have a mix of genres and things that I'm looking at so that no matter my reading mood I'll find something of interest. So that was all for the January announcement for Invisible Cities project. Uh, I hope you will join us again next year and read some amazing books from all over the world uh, or uh, watch some movies, uh, make some food, whatever you want to do for the project. 
and I think that was all I wanted to say. Uh, I would love to know if you have any ideas for uh, what you could read for these two countries. If you have any recommendations for me personally, I would always uh, really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're doing well and you're taking care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon. Bye.